On the afternoon of Sunday, October 10th, residents lined the streets of downtown Lake Orion for the 2021 Homecoming Parade. Leading the way was the Lake Orion Police Department's 1941 Ford police car, followed by students and faculty representing each of Lake Orion's six elementary schools, three middle schools, and of course, Lake Orion High School. The homecoming court made their way down Flint Street as announcer Lori Hogan introduced them to the crowd, including the seniors representing the class of 2022. And our senior representatives, first up we have Heidi Schuster and Christian Farsfeld. <laughs> Members of the class of 2022. Senior court is wearing green and our other reps are wearing gold. Next up, we have Paige Walker and Jackson Ben. Paige and Jackson have been running a strong social media campaign. They're hoping to win King and Queen on Friday night. Both members of the marching band. Next up, we have Melinda Brock and Clayton Piper. Melinda is the vice president of student leadership and Clay is a member of our swim team. <laughs> Melinda and Clay, members of the class of 2022. And our next court representative, a varsity cheerleader named Michaela Long. <laughs> Michaela is hoping to take home the crown on Friday night as she cheers the Dragons to victory. Warm round of applause for senior court member, Michaela Long. Students representing various school groups and athletes from a wide variety of sports took part in the parade, including members of the Lake Orion Dragons varsity football team and their coaches. And bringing up the rear were members of Lake Orion leadership who organized the homecoming parade. as we're seconds away from starting the first powder puff game in two years. Then on the evening of Thursday, October 14th, Lake Orion High School seniors took on the juniors in the annual powder puff football game. The seniors had won four straight prior to the cancellation of the game in 2020. Could the class of 2022 keep the streak alive? With the juniors in white facing a third and 10 on their own 20, number 26, Chloe Wiegers scrambles in the pocket, rolls right, turns the corner, dodges a half dozen would-be tacklers, and somehow manages to emerge with flags intact, and she is gone. 80 yards into the end zone to put the juniors on the scoreboard first. The extra point was no good, and the score is 6-0, juniors. Following the touchdown, the seniors responded with a nice drive. On second and goal, number 40, Brooke Schoenberg takes the direct snap and finds the end zone to even up the score. The PAT was missed and things are knotted up at six. On the next drive, we're still in the first quarter. The juniors are looking at a second and 11 on their own 34. Number one, Whitney Acker takes the handoff, goes outside and runs 66 yards into the end zone to regain the lead. The extra point was good and the juniors are back on top, 13 to six with three and a half left in the first. Let's go to the second quarter. The juniors are facing a fourth and five on the seniors 43 yard line when number 86, Grace Sullivan takes the handoff and bolts up the middle, eluding tacklers and goes the distance. 43 yards into the end zone to extend the juniors lead. The PAT was missed, but the juniors are now up two scores in the first half, 19 to six. With the second quarter winding down, the seniors are threatening to score from the junior six yard line. Quarterback Olivia Peplowski hands the ball off. It's a reverse. Number 46, Madeline Smith, comes to a complete stop before sidestepping the defender and running right to find the end zone. The extra point was good, and the seniors cut into the juniors' lead. It's 19-13 at the half. Let's go to the third. The seniors are on their own nine-yard line. They pull another reverse. What the heck, it worked last time. Number 102, Gianna Rodriguez makes a nifty move and has a lane. One defender tugs at her flag to no avail. Another gets a grip, but the flag stays put. Rodriguez goes 91 yards into the end zone to tie things up. Unbelievable. Sarah Honescheid's extra point is good, and the seniors take the lead for the first time in the game, 2019. 
Later in the third, the juniors are forced to punt and the seniors begin their drive inside the red zone. On the juniors 14 yard line, Madeline Smith takes the handoff, goes right, changes direction, evades tacklers and finds the end zone. The PAT was good and the seniors take advantage of the momentum and extend their lead to eight points. Let's go to the fourth quarter. The seniors are at the juniors 23 yard line facing second and long. Number 27, Casey Lauer takes the snap, spins and rolls left. She streaks down the sideline for the score. The PAT was good and that's all she wrote. The final score, 34-19 in favor of the seniors to keep the winning streak alive at five games. On a rainy Friday night, October 15th, the two and five Lake Orion Dragons hosted the one and six Seaholm Maples for the homecoming game. Let's get to the action. Early in the first, the Dragons are looking at second and seven on the Maples 38 yard line when quarterback Kyler Carson hands off to Jack Wellman who turns on the Jets and streaks down the sideline for the touchdown. The PAT was good and the Dragons are on the board first, 7-0. Following a Maples punt, the Dragons begin a drive on the Maples 47. On the first play from scrimmage, Ray Payne takes the handoff, goes right and nets a 30-yard gain before getting pushed out of bounds at the 17. On second and goal from the six, Carson hands off to Jack Wellman, who runs left and into the end zone untouched for a second touchdown of the game. The extra point was good and the Dragons are up 14-0. Following another Maples punt, Lake Orion begins their drive on their own 28. On second and one at the Maples 30, Billy Roberson takes the handoff and goes the distance. The 30-yard touchdown run makes the score 21-0 with under two minutes left in the first quarter. With nine and a half left in the second quarter, the Dragons have a first and 10 on their own 25. Quarterback Kyler Carson fakes the handoff, keeps it, and just flat out outruns defenders, rushing for an impressive 75 yard touchdown. The extra point was good and the Dragons are up by four touchdowns. Following the score, both teams line up for the kickoff. The Maples mishandle the kick and the Dragons fall on to begin another drive in great field position. With 8.56 left in the half, the Dragons are facing a fourth and five. Instead of punting it away, Carson hands off to Wellman. He eludes one two, three tacklers, and whoop, jukes a fourth on his way to the end zone. The impressive run results in Wellman's third touchdown of the first half. Following the PAT, the Dragons are up 35 to nothing. At halftime, the homecoming court made its way onto the field. Returning to Dragon Stadium were 2019's King and Queen, Kate Barker and Joey Barron, to crown the 2021 King and Queen. At the direction of Lori Hogan, Joey Barron placed the crown on the head of Jackson Bent. And Kate, will you put the crown on our 2021 homecoming queen, Miss Paige Wilkins? We caught up with the couple on the sideline during the fourth quarter of the game. Well, honest, well, a lot of my friends have been asking me all day, hey, do you know if you won yet? Hey, do you know if you won yet? And so I said, you just got to wait for the ceremony. You just got to wait for the ceremony. So all day it's just been building up in my mind. And I was a little worried because I know all of the people who are on the court. And I was like, man, any one of these people, they're super popular, super nice. Any one of these people could have been voted. And I was just super happy that these people like were in high school wanted me to be their homecoming king and Paige to be their homecoming queen. Yes, definitely. Like, we don't know anything kind of before this starts. It's a lot of just like questioning and like just excitement that's building up and definitely everyone on the court was like really really eligible to be able to be a king or queen so it was really really nice that we were able to get picked and it was really exciting to hear our names and have Kate and stuff come over and say hi and give us the crowns. In the second half the Maples did manage to avoid the shutout with a late touchdown but the Dragons came away with a convincing homecoming win. The final 35-6 Lake Orion. Following the game, we had a chance to get a comment from head coach John Blackstock and quarterback Kyler Carson. 
It was awesome to be able to play everybody and uh, you know have, have a celebration like that. It, that's always fun, especially with the ups and downs that these guys have gone through this year. Uh, it was just a really good way to, to end some senior careers at, at home. Yeah. All right, Tyler Carson. Congratulations Thank you. on a winner. Homecoming. Sir. It's been an up and down season. This one's got to feel good for you. It definitely does. As you said, up and down. There's been those games where we're right there all the way to the end. And it was just a great game. Great team. See home's a great team. So it felt good. The Dragons conclude their 2021 season with an away game against the undefeated Celine Hornets on Friday, October 22nd. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV Sports.